Clutch Trucker filmed before a live studio audience. Yep, there's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Well, I didn't do the best with the trimming, but most of the fur is out of his eyes. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Uh, anyway, uh, just a couple things I want to touch on. Uh, yeah, first off, I uh, did deliver down in um, uh, near the Fort Worth area today, uh, Saginaw, Texas. Uh, they're known for uh, some sort of uh, wheat or grain or something that says on their sign as you're going into the town. Anyway, delivered my load uh, this morning to a grocery warehouse and actually didn't go as bad as it could have with it being a grocery warehouse. Uh, Ventura Foods, I guess they're, they're more of a grocery distributor to other grocery warehouses, so it wasn't too bad. I was bringing them a load of giant barrels of ketchup from Heinz. Anyway, then had another load that uh, was not supposed to pick up till 3 p.m. and I delivered at 8 o'clock this morning, just after 8. Uh, but I went there early and they luckily took me early. It's uh, uh, you know, the, the you know fertilizer for your garden and stuff, going to a uh, Ace Hardware distribution center up near, near Little Rock. I, I don't know the name, of, I don't know how you pronounce the name of this town. Uh, somebody please put it in the comments and correct me. Uh, M-A-U-M-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I would say that's ma o -mel. <laughs> ma o -mel. Kind of reminds me of that Steve Martin movie, uh, Man with Two Brains and o -mel Anyway, correct me on that pronunciation. I'm sure I'm wrong. That delivers tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm parked here at the TA in Prescott, Arkansas tonight. Closest one I could get uh, to that delivery where I knew I could reserve a spot. I'm only an hour and a half away from the delivery. Then I'm gonna pick up another load uh, that I already have, I haven't written it down yet, in uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas, going to Omaha. Trying to get my way back up towards Iowa. I wanna get back over to Davenport to try to get the injectors done. This will be attempt number two to try to get that done, so hopefully that'll work. And uh, now somebody did mention on the comments uh, on one of the, my videos, uh, Jaffo the Day Trader, or Jafo the Day Trader, whichever it is, commented he was installing uh, an Appway uh, on his truck, you know, about a year ago, and he said he loves it. And so I checked that out, and that's mainly what this video is going to be about the Appway. So I'm sure you're saying, uh, Clutch Trucker, what in the hell is the Appway? Here's a picture. Now, this is the Appway sensor. Now, if you look back where it's a little blurry, that's a T-connector with a quick connect on either side, so you can connect it to your airline right above your airbag. It's a little sensor you put on your um, uh, airline right above your airbags on your, tra on your trailer and right above your airbag on your tractor. And uh, once you've calibrated it, the theory is that then this will give you accurate weights on your trailer and your on your t trailer tandems and your uh, drive tandems on your truck so you don't have to go to cat scale and give them all your money as often you notice they raised the fight the price again cat scale i mean i like it's a guarantee and, and they will back you up and yeah that's all the great stuff and happy smiling presents and crap but they keep going up on that price when i started 10 years ago it was like nine bucks for a, a, your first way and a dollar for the reway. Then they went up to like 10 bucks or 10.50 and they doubled the price of the reway to two bucks. Well, now they've doubled or tripled now that reway price. It's up to three dollars now. And the first way is $12.50. I did the math. If you uh, scale even just once a week, that's $15.50 a, a week. And uh, this Appway thing, you need two of the sensors, which costs 300 bucks. Well, in five months, you'd have, you'd have paid for this. If you scale twice a week and do a reway each time, two and a half months, and you've paid for this thing. So I was intrigued. Now, they have a little picture on their website trying to show you basically how it works. So let's look at that picture. Yep, see, they're showing you the app on the left. They're showing you right there in the middle that that's where your phone is and right there above the tandems and of course it's a single axle picture they're showing us uh for the truck and then uh, tandems on the trailer uh there there's there is where your sensors will be don't you love how they put a day cab on there i mean not a day cab a cab over yeah because we're all driving cab overs now where did that picture come from the 70s early 80s it's 
about the last time that there were day or over or cab over. I can't even say it. Cab overs everywhere. But anyway, it still it intrigues me. It looks like it might be a cool thing. So I found, uh, you know, you can order it through them or, you know, as I found, I'm a big believer in Amazon. I'm an Amazon Prime member, which means I get, you know, free two-day shipping all the time. And I'm a huge believer in the Amazon lockers. Well, now that I know my next two loads, I knew I was going to be in the Omaha Council Bluffs area on Wednesday. And they're able to get it to one of the uh, Amazon lo lo hub lockers, they call it, on Wednesday. So after I deliver, I'm going to swing by the Sap Brothers and Council Bluffs and pick up my Appway sensors. And it's going to be real easy to install. Go back and watch my video a few videos back where I did the airline repair on my seat. That's how easy it's going to be to put these things in because they use the quick connects on the airline. You just got to cut the airline right above the uh, airbag on your uh, trailer or and your tractor or both. And then you put the little T thing in there. Uh, and then put the airline back in the other side and then it's got the sensor on it and that's how it works and the sensor is bluetooth it's got a little battery in it like a watch battery and then you uh sync it up to your phone with their app and then what you have to do is once you've got it all installed you got to go get an empty weight you got to go pay cat scale again get an empty weight and then once you're loaded you go get a loaded weight on that and then you can calibrate the app and you should be good to go from that point now they say it's going to be accurate to within about 200 pounds. You know, I figure if, if it's closer to 500, fine. Like on this Heinz load I had, if you watched my last video, where they pushed it all forward on the trailer and my drives were over by like 1,500 pounds. Well, at least it would have let me know that on site and I could have gone back inside and said, no, you got to rework this. Instead, I had to drive 35 miles away to the nearest Catscale. At that point, I wasn't going back. So I just did what I could to make it work. I had to slide my fifth wheel all the way forward and play the fuel game. So, you know, that's going to be a big help with this thing. So anyway, it's going to be coming in, waiting for me at an Amazon hub locker at Sap Brothers and Council Bluffs on Wednesday, and I'll pick it up then. So I'll do a full unboxing of the thing. I'll do the installation, and I'll do the uh, calibration of it, and all that in one video to show you how it works, and we'll see how accurate this thing is. If it really works like they say, it's going to be a boon uh, to me. It's going to save me a lot of money because, like I say, it'll pay for itself in somewhere between two and a half to, to five months. And if that's the case, then I won't ever, hardly ever, have to go to a cat scale again unless I'm really, really close on that weight and I just really want to double check, which I may do on occasion. But wow, this is going to be a huge thing if it actually works. Now, of course, I read all the comments on uh, Amazon and... Here's basically a rundown of comments on Amazon on any product. Half of them are, wow, this is the best thing in the world. It's fantastic. It's, you know, I can now play the piano, which I never could before. It's now, you know, my wife and I have a better relationship thanks to this product. It's the best thing in the world. Or it's, this is the biggest piece of junk I've ever seen in my life. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. Worst thing I ever bought. That's pretty much how the comments are on Amazon. I mean, are you with me on that? So, you know, you got to kind of find the line in there. Is it going to be worth it or not? Well, they give you a 90-day 90 90 day guarantee. So I figure i got three months to try it out. And if it doesn't work, I'm sending it back. But if it does work, it's going to be a boon to the clutch trucker world. So stay tuned for more on that. After I got loaded, I stopped in Rockwall, Texas to uh, fuel up at the TA because it was a little bit cheaper than, than the further up the road there. But that place is a cluster mug. I didn't feel like staying any longer. I wanted to get a shower, but didn't feel like doing it there. So I went to the new TA Express in Mount Vernon, uh, Texas, off I-30, and uh, and got a shower there, which, you know, I figured was a new place. The shower should be pretty good. Well, they're new. They're clean. But there's no countertop. That bugs me. It's just the sink off the wall. I hate that. They do give you the little bench seat kind of thingy. And it's a curtain. I always hate a curtain because the curtain always tries to attack you. Uh, and it just kind of dripped. It just, you know, kind of... Pish, pish. Yeah, I hate that. I, uh, as I've said many times, if you've watched many of my videos, I want a shower that blasts me against the freaking wall. And this just kind of spit. And so you, know, you feel like you got to be in there like three times as long just to get wet all over and, you know... Anyway. It was, but I'm clean. So yes, that's why the color shirt color has changed again because I, I got my shower. At least I feel a little refreshed. 
anyway, as my on my way out, I, I saw this guy, and he had comfort down, baby. Francisco got a hammock strapped up on his flatbed. Let's look at that. All right, I'm coming back from my shower, and look what I find. This guy, in ultimate comfort, got his hammock hung from his flatbed. You were telling me you got these hooks at what, Home Depot? Home Depot. And you got the hammock on eBay, you said? Yes. So you said this is the way to, to be comfortable and stay cool. That's right. Without the truck running. I mean, look at you got your shoes kicked off. I have my you got shoes your, right here. You got your beverage. And you got the shadow from the trailer, so that's awesome. Yep. That's the way to do it. So I just thought this was too cool. How comfortable is that looking? So we found another driver who's found a perfect way to relax. That's true. What's your name, sir? Francisco. Francisco, nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you, buddy. How cool is that? Francisco, you're the man. That's awesome. Hanging out in a hammock strapped onto your flatbed. That's just freaking cool. Clutch trucker approved. Gotta love that hammock idea, huh? That was really cool. Uh, I know my buddy Jim who bought my uh, last truck, he used to do the same sort of thing. Uh, underneath a uh, reefer trailer so it can be done that way too so pretty cool hey thanks for tuning in as always uh, please subscribe please like and comment if you would like to only if you'd like to i get to your comments sometimes it takes a day or two because i'm a working truck driver uh don't forget about clutch trucker on instagram clutch trucker on twitter and as always sniff that magic youtube fairy dust clutch and rusty out infamous he's not only famous He's more than famous, he's infamous. Oh, here he is, ready to get his begging strip. Okay, you gotta jump, it's right up here. Come on, you can do it. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, he had it for a second and then it fell. But of course, he will find it.